Tori and Matthew, today you begin your life together. You make vows and you'll declare your love and faithfulness one to another. I know in meeting with you that you have every intention of loving each other for the rest of your days. Know that marriages, these commitments that you make today, they'll be tested. But my prayer for you is that God gives you enough love to keep you going, enough patience to endure. May God give you both an abundance of joy and happiness. And may he cause you both to never lose one ounce of the love that you share here today. something that just happens. A good marriage is something that's cultivated. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's never forgetting to say I love you every day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's at no time taking each other for granted. It's standing together, you two facing the world. It's doing things for each other, not out of a have to, but out of a want to. It's cultivating flexibility and patience and understanding with a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to both forgive and forget. And it's giving each other the atmosphere which you both can grow. It's not just about marrying the right partner, but it's about you both being the right partner. Matthew Allen Cook promised to take Tori Christine Dolch to be your wife. Will you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, provide for her, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? As a promise made before Almighty God and your friends and family, will you say I do? I do. And Tori Christine Dolch, will you take Matthew Allen Cook to be your husband? Will you promise to love him? Comfort him, honor him, and respect him, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for him, as long as you both shall live as a promise made before Almighty God and your friends and family, will you say, I do? I do. It's been my great privilege to witness the joining of this man and this woman by the power vested in me by the state of Iowa and God's holy church. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Corinthians chapter 13, it says, If I speak with the tongues of men and angels, but I have not love, that I'm nothing but a noisy gong or clashing cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and can understand all of life's mysteries, and I have all knowledge, and I have faith that can even move a mountain, but I don't have love, then I am nothing. If I give away all I have to the poor, and I deliver my body up, but I have not love, then I've done it for nothing. The love is patient, it's kind, it does not envy or boast, it's not proud or rude, it's not selfish or easily angered. It does not rejoice in wrong, but it rejoices in the truth. For love bears all, believes all, hopes all, and endures all to love.